we've got the windshield set in place. We've got our tape kind of holding it up for a couple minutes. It's going to be needed to, for the uh, urethane to actually get to what we call skin over time, where it starts holding everything in place. Uh, a comment I want to make on this particular situation, though, is now we start getting to when is this vehicle safe to deliver to, a co to the consumer? Now, we talked about washing a vehicle and getting water on it because it speeds up the cure of the urethanes that are actually used to replace the windshields. But we have to take a look at driveway times and what we're actually referring to this. Some car manufacturers have recommendations that when a windshield is replaced, that the vehicle stay in a controlled environment. That would be a shop environment or 75 degrees with 50% relative humidity for up to 24 hours. This would need to meet the rollover standards or the rollover protection that vehicles provide in a crash. So they want to get very strong. The driveway time that is used by the adhesive manufacturers and the glass industry and many people out there currently discussed is one hour driveway time. One hour from the time that this windshield is put in place. What is being stated at that point is that this vehicle in one hour can be crashed at 30 miles an hour full frontal crash testing. Right? That's the test that actually passed. So what we're saying is that it's safe up to the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard 212 and 208. The problem that you're going to run into is if your policyholder leaves your shop and goes on the freeway and is doing 70, 75 miles an hour, that's a whole different situation. So the longer that you hold a vehicle to the manufacturer specs, the better and safer you are against liability issues that are out there. So we're trying to make sure we're protecting ourselves from liability and holding that vehicle as long as possible. This isn't a situation where the windshield goes in at four and the vehicle gets delivered by five. There's no way that that could be correctly done. The other situation I want to understand is make sure that cold weather does slow down insulation times. So we want to make sure that you understand that when you want to speed up a chemical reaction, you add heat, you want to slow down a chemical reaction, you cool it off. But the problem we also run into is that when you cool off the air temperature, also the water vapor that's in the air actually starts, starts diminishing. There's not as much water vapor in cold air as there is warm air. So that will actually hold the, keep the curing process from curing, curing as fast as you want it to. So all driveway time, you need to watch your driveway time charts from the adhesive manufacturer to make sure that you're releasing that vehicle at the proper times to the customer. When the customer gets the vehicle, again, they should be able to drive it, go through a car wash, they should be able to roll up their windows and shut their doors normally. Everything should be fine because the vehicle needs to be safe. All right, a couple of things that you may run into when you're doing an installation. Number one is the amount of tools that are used, nicking in the metal, damaging metal. Remember, you have to make sure that you're putting the primer in there. Even if you don't think you damaged the pinch weld, make sure you're double checking, make sure you're covering that up. Remember, the metals on the newer vehicles are so thin that any type of corrosion can actually compromise the integrity of the vehicle. The other thing that you can possibly run into is that a windshield can get replaced in a vehicle in its life for uh, probably up to four to ten times in its lifetime. If a windshield's been replaced before, or even if there's a defect in it, and you do have corrosion underneath the windshield, Proper preparation of the metal is key to making sure that the family is still safe in that vehicle. Number one, for corrosion protection on the vehicles, if you find corrosion underneath, the newer vehicles you're going to find out you can't grind the, your, the rust off the, the metal. You end up thinning the metal out so much you can actually jeopardize the integrity of the vehicle. Media blasting would be the best way to get as much of that rust out as you can. If there's any deep pitting or holes in there, replace the metal. That's the only option we have. If you have the corrosion that's in there, it can jeopardize this insulation and cause a very detrimental factor the way the vehicle crushes in the crash, the way the airbags deploy, the time that the airbags deploy, the steering column being moved back in the crash, all these things are dependent on that windshield. So corrosion can be a big problem. But when I came, come back to talk about the prime and make sure you're protecting it, that corrosion becomes another big issue. This windshield needs to be safe to drive when the customer sees it. But the other thing is the insulation needs to be of a quality insulation that this windshield will last the test of time. Owners of vehicles would normally keep their vehicles for two or three years. Now we're looking at owners keeping vehicles for up to 10 years in today's economy. If the windshield insulation is not done properly, not followed through, you may find corrosion start occurring two, three, four years down the road, and that corrosion will jeopardize the integrity of that insulation. That will create a large problem for the the passengers or the owners of the vehicle. We want to make sure that we're not causing any of those corrosion issues. So we've got contamination issues, we've got corrosion issues, we've got the types of glass being used, different areas with that as far as the fit, quality of the glass. All these different things are things you have to work through, but by following the procedures that we showed, you should be able to get through most of those procedures with that. So we want to make sure that everything goes with that. So it's not just the insulation, it's the length of time you hold the vehicle, the communication you have with the customer about 
any issues underneath that pinch weld, such as corrosion or different issues with that too. So we want to make sure everything's protected. Once this windshield is cured up, we'll actually take, or even through, while it's curing, we'll actually take, reassemble the vehicle, remove all the protective tape and all different coverings with that, and then we'll give the vehicle a good wash to make sure that the water helps speed up the cure of the urethane, and then we'll be releasing back to the vehicle or the, to the owner. The documentation on the paperwork should always be a number of things, but one of the important things, remember, on paperwork, you want to make sure you get the DOT number off the glass, which will be located right on the bug of the glass. There's a DOT number. Keep that on your paperwork in case you find out you've got faulty glass or a glass you need to go back and take out because of manufacturer defect. The other item that you want to take a look at is also getting the lot number of the, of the urethane that you're using. Tracking the lot numbers will also help you in case you find out that you had a bad, a bad batch of urethane produced. Then you can go back and locate the vehicles you use that urethane on and remove that windshield before it comes a big liability for everybody involved. So keeping yourself out of liability, keeping yourself out of trouble is really important on that part of it. So I want to make sure we're following through all those procedures on that. Now, the last thing I'm going to comment on as far as the tape, I said the tape only needs to be on here for about six minutes. That's because this vehicle is still equipped with setting blocks. If the vehicle wasn't equipped with setting blocks, which you'll find a lot of manufacturers now omitting on the vehicles, this tape may need to be on here for about up to 15, 20, maybe even up to an hour, depending on the urethane you use. Remember, if the tape is holding the windshield in place, the owner shouldn't be driving that vehicle. That would make the vehicle, if you're holding that windshield with that tape, that means that vehicle is still unsafe to drive. So before releasing it, make sure that the, the, the owner is safe to drive that vehicle, it's safe to crash, and don't compromise on the steps and materials that the adhesive manufacturer requires.